Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my granny, Pamela. Say hello, granny. Say hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> um, I just thought I would ask a few questions yeah. to see just a bit of a Q&A with my granny. What was it like to go to school in early Australia? Oh, it was quite fun. We rode a horse to school. It took about half an hour. <laughs> yeah. That was here in Canberra? In Canberra. Yeah. Would you know, do you know what Twitter is? If you were to tweet someone? I see it written. Yep. The president always tweets. He's a tweet. He is a tweet. Were there any, over your life, can you think of one event that sort of changed your life path? Can you think of a specific time that you think changed you or shaped you? Oh, I suppose the war came and that upset everybody. The second? Second war. Yeah. So how did that affect your life here? Well, instead of going away, my mother wanted me to go to England and do a phys ed course, I forget the name of the place. And uh, so that was called off mm -hmm. and I stayed home as a lad girl helping my father on the farm. Did you like that or would you have preferred to go to England? Well, it's hard to say. I quite enjoyed it but it was hard work. Mm. Um, moving sheep and cattle around. We had 1,600 acres, I think it was. Wow. Uh, they were sold to leases, these blocks in Woden. Um, and they, they were pretty good, really. Do you know what, who the Kardashians are? Kardashian family on TV. Do you know who they are? Whose family? Kardashians. Have you heard of them before? No. Oh. That's a good thing. What sort of food would you eat during the war? Did it change from before the war to during? Like was there limited food or you just sort of lived off the land? Oh, we lived off the land. Butter and tea and sugar were all... Um, uh, you had a card. Well, we had made our own butter and... Did you help with that or...? Oh, yes. Yeah. We had a big um, separator, cream and then the milk on the outside. Yeah. And uh, we just used some milk for the household and otherwise the dogs had milk, uh, pollen was mixed up for them. <laughs> <coughs> and that was their main feed. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, tell the story of the little piglet that you had. <coughs> <coughs> yes, we had a um, couple of pigs. Yeah. And uh, one had about 13 little piglets. <laughs> They were white. Oh, <clears throat> so cute. And my elder sister Diana loved pigs. Yeah. And this little one was sort of pushed out. He was described as the runt of the family. Oh, was he like quite yeah. small? He was quite little. Yeah. <laughs> and and um, so he was brought down to the house. Yeah. And we called him. Willy Pong. <laughs> <laughs> a Willy Pong. And now I've named my car Willy Pong. I, I named the car Willy Pong. Oh. <laughs> and he was had a bath. And when he was little, he slept in the house with the cats. Mm -hmm. Often they'd be. Oh. Did the did the cats beat him up, or were they okay? No, they all accepted him. Yeah. And then he got a bit big for coming in the house. Oh. But it was very clean. And um, 
I hate to say it, but he went off with his brothers and sisters oh. in the car. Oh. Oh. <laughs> to the abattoir, so that was sad. Oh, Willy Pong. Oh, yeah. Did he ever squeal or anything? Did he what? Like, make, like, did he oink or did he go wee? Like oh, squeal? yes, he really squealed. <laughs> My mother didn't like him in the house. <laughs> he was very clean. She'd get the broom and just put it behind him <laughs> and he'd go wee wee wee. <laughs> <laughs> and he'd so be cute. pushed out. Aww. But otherwise, he was, you know, quite big when we had to get rid of him. <laughs> But Diana loved the pigs. They were her pet pigs. <laughs> Do you think that you're a good dancer? Oh, oh well, just ballroom dancing <laughs> was quite easy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so I would watch and then we'd yeah. have a look, practice. Were there a lot, a lot of like dancers happening during the forties? Like, would people go out to dancing on like the weekends? Was that a thing? Because I know now. Yes. It's very different, but was yeah. it like an, something to do or would you go to the movies? Like what was, well, we like went, what would you do? Went to the movies mm -hmm. and it was quite special. Yeah. <clears throat> but it was a treat really. Was it quite expensive to go to the movies or? Oh. It was I just more something. It was. Yeah. Uh, you know, we didn't have much and... Um, I remember my twenty-first birthday. I went. Yeah. I got engaged to a cadet at Dundroon. At twenty-one. At twenty-one. How did he propose? Oh, I don't know. They used to come out. <laughs> I don't know. On their bikes. <laughs> and. Uh, was he good looking? Yes. Yes, he was. Anyway, the outcome was. Uh, I stayed engaged for quite a while. Yeah. And he went off to war. And um, I thought, well, poof, I don't want to get married yet. <laughs> so when he was at, at war, you just said, oh, so, see ya. So I ca ca broke off that engagement. Did you write to him and just say it's over, or you just did yeah, it? Yes, I you did. You wrote to him, yeah. And, uh, Where was he stationed? In the war? Well, at that stage, he was on Thursday Island. Okay. And um, anyway, of course, he was very upset about it. So, did he propose to you on your 21st birthday? Or were you already engaged by oh, then? Oh, we were engaged then. Yeah. <clears throat> but he, like a lot of cadets, used to ride their bikes out on a Sunday and have a roast dinner and then back and uh, he had been in Thursday Island oh I suppose a few months. And Did he come back from the war? Well he didn't really go, oh he did but um, I forget how long he was at Thursday Island but he got very upset when I wrote and said I didn't want to get married. What What did you say the reason was? Was it because you were too young or? No. You just didn't just like thought, him anymore? Well, he was away and I thought... <laughs> Better things to do. <laughs> <laughs> I was at home. Savage. <laughs> and he still went out. And he went to Sydney and he stayed with a friend Oh, Mrs. Leg. Mrs. Leg. Leg uh, lived in. Cool. She sure. was a widow, and Anne was the daughter. She was a, uh, well, a school friend. Mm -hmm. And if I was ever in Sydney, we'd stay with her in Wallara. But anyway, he came down from Thursday Island and yep. went to to see her. I was at home <clears throat> back after her. Yes. So um, when, did you see him again when he came back? Um, after you weren't engaged anymore, did he? When he came down 
And Mrs. Lee rang yeah. me yeah. from Sydney and said, Derek is down. He's oh, Derek, nice name. Mad as a hornet. <laughs> Why? So I thought I'd prepare you. Oh. <coughs> so he was coming to yell at you. Was he coming to yell at you? Yeah. Why was he mad? So was he mad at you? Did you run away? No, well, I was at home. Yeah. And um, he rang up and said he was coming out. Yeah. And Diana, my elder city sister, said, I'll stay with you because he sounds very cross. Uh, anyway, it, it all turned out all right. What happened? Can't leave me hanging, Granny. Well, I just told him I didn't want to get married anymore. Did he yell at you? Well, he was cross. He didn't touch me or hurt me or anything. Did he end up getting married to someone? Yeah, yeah he would have gotten married after. He did in a few months later. Oh, a few months? I think it might have been a year. And ended up, sure. he got out of the army and got a farm somewhere near Albury. Ended up having five children. Wow. So, but I don't know what happened to him after that. <laughs> Good riddance, Derek. See yeah. you later. <laughs> so yeah. when did you get engaged to Bob? How old were you then? I was, in, I was about 27, 26 or 7. And uh, was the, was that was that quite late to get engaged back then, or was that? Oh, I suppose. Was it? Yes. Because I know now, it's quite early if you get engaged when you're twenty or twenty-one. Yeah. Sort of more normal in your late twenties. So yeah. I'm not sure if it was different back then. Yeah, and then just after that, we were posted to New Zealand. And we went to Wellington, he was... So why were we posted to New Zealand, just oh, to... sorry, he was in Foreign Affairs. Foreign Affairs, yeah. So, this is my dad's dad. Yeah. Yeah. So that was that. And then we came home, he went to help his family who had a daffodil farm, J.N. Hancock, and to this day it's still uh, under that name, a young couple, I think. S yeah, so that's, is that in Sassafras or Fern Tree Gully or? Well, they, he moved them from Fern Tree Gully up to Sassafras because the soil was a better. Mm -hmm. And then they went to Calarama and Sue, my daughter, was about five and um, we were in Calarama for a few years and Jeff, <laughs> my son, was born then. Shannon's dad. And uh, uh, we stayed in Calarama for quite a while at 20 acres. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You go give a thumbs up. Thumbs up! Um, and hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Yeah. And thank you so much to my granny for speaking with me. <laughs> love, love you so much. Yeah, <laughs> bye everyone. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>